Hey everybody, it's Tammy. Welcome back to my channel. So do you guys want to spend a little crafting time together today? Look at this cute ornament. So I used some vintage and some new materials to make this adorable Halloween ornament. And if you want to hang out for a little bit with me and uh, watch the process, I'm going to grab a few supplies and let's make this darling ornament. So the inspiration for today's ornament comes from this wonderful old photograph. It's, it's like an old cabinet card, um, just a smaller size, has these three little ladies on there, which now are just three little witches, um, best costume and their first place ribbon. So um, I really think this turned out sweet and I have another cabinet card here that I picked out that I thought we could use. This one, she's cute. And uh, look at the back of this. Petite Photo Company in Brooklyn. Photo taken day or evening in any kind of weather. Electric light used, assuring best results. So I like her. I like the white background on this, so I kind of dug around for another one. So first thing I'm gonna do is, I thought I would ink her up a little bit. Now, I, I wish I had, this is my Ranger Distress ink, you know, this is like a tea dye color, and I wish I had the black, and I don't. So I gotta put that on my shopping list. So I just have a regular black ink and a sponge dauber here, and I'm gonna ink up this photograph with the black. I really like the black on this for Halloween. It's like a really cool look. So I definitely want to get some of that Ranger ink because it is it is the best. But I like how that changed things up a little bit. Looks good, doesn't it? Okay, and the next thing I want to do is make her a little witch hat. So I've got a piece of felt here. This is like kind of like a heavy wool felt, but you know, any felt from the craft store will do the trick. And I'm going to cut out a little pointy hat. Now I'm just guessing here, so I might want to make it a little bigger, a little smaller. We'll test it out and see what we like. I don't know, maybe maybe take it down just a tad. I don't know. Let's see. Okay. Wait. A little more. Just kind of kind of eyeball it. There we go. Now, also off the felt, I'm going to cut a little tiny strip. This is kind of the brim of her, of her hat. Let's cut a piece of that off there and see what we got. A little big. See what I mean? You just kind of have to play around with stuff until it comes out just right. Let's see. Okay, I like that. That's cute. Can you guys see okay? Let me bring this down just a little bit. All right, we're gonna glue this on. Now, normally I would grab my glue gun and just go to town, but in this case, um, glue gun felt not a good combination, you guys. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of white tacky glue here. And we'll put it on with a toothpick. just so things don't get out of hand. Let's put a little strip here and lay the brim of her hat down. Yep, stick your finger in it while you're at it. And then grab a little bit more, just enough to hold her hat in place. Let me move that out of the way or my hand will be in the middle of it. Okay, and with the um, with the white glue, you've got a little bit of time too. If you wanna just play around with positioning it on her head. All right, that's a good start, isn't it? Okay, next. Now we have best costume. So this is a piece of coffee dyed paper. It's like notebook paper. Save all your scraps. And I'm going to use my interlocking word stamps. And here we go. That's these. I got them on Amazon. You can just put words together until your heart's content. 
Okay, let's use that black ink again. Let me bring this up a little bit here. Okay, sorry about that. Sometimes I never know if I have the right adjustment. Okay, so I'm going to stamp best and costume right on this paper. I was thinking about stamping it right onto here, but if I messed up and something didn't come out right, then I really can't get it off. So I did it with this, and actually I liked it because it was just like another layer. Okay, so we're just gonna cut this out. I'm gonna grab some more of that black ink as well and we'll ink this up a little bit too this costume okay see how that looks going to look good Just a little touch of that black ink on here. I like that. Okay. Cute. And you know what? Since we had some of this white glue out, why not, right? I'll just go ahead and attach this paper right on here with the white glue works for me okay All right there we go so looks really cute now what I did on here I had this trim it's kind of a I guess you call it a all right let me see I got stuff over here let me clean this area off here we go um, it's kind of like a little pom-pom trim and it was a little stretchy and because I thought I wanted to look where it sort of looked like a frame so this really kind of did a good job it wasn't the easiest to attach but we're gonna go for it we're gonna do it again and Let's just see what happens, okay? That's what that's what crafting's all about. So I'm gonna kind of stretch this out a bit. Let's see. Like I said, it's all kind of twisty. Now, that's really what the problem was. It didn't want to lay super flat. All right, so what I did was I took my hot glue and just went right on this edge and then I laid this right here like this. Okay, you see that? It just sort of put it right there on the edge. And once I got it started, it was a little bit better. It was a little bit easier to control. So I'm just gonna continue that and go all the way around. I'm very fortunate to to have these cabinet cards and these old photographs. Um, I have two friends. They're actually lifelong friends of my husband's and they both deal in vintage and ephemera and vintage photography and um, they know I love to craft with it. So I am one lucky girl because they set things aside for me and plus when they're doing shows and things like that, I'm, I'm able to stock up. Okay, this is going on here pretty good. Like I said, once you get it started, it wasn't bad, but you can see it makes a really nice like frame on there, doesn't it? Okay, let's give this a snip. Right there, maybe. Okay, and we'll just glue that down.
very, very nice. And last thing to finish up this, I um, have a black pipe cleaner here. I like the these um, older ones. They're so thin and delicate. So nice. I'm just going to cut it down just a little bit. Of course, you can use ribbon on here. Any kind of hanger. And we'll just glue it on right here. Very easy. Okay. All right. Isn't she pretty? That is really cute, isn't it? All right, let me gather up what we need and let's make our first place ribbon for the best costume contest. Let's make our prize ribbon. All right, so this is just a piece of cardstock. I think I coffee dyed this, so it's kind of crinkly and nice. And this is a one and a half inch decorative uh, paper punch, just a round circle. And I'm going to just cut three, um, three circles, okay? On the first circle, what we're gonna do is grab whatever ribbon we want to use. I I found this ribbon at Michael's many, many years ago, and um, it was around Halloween, and I loved it, and I bought a few rolls, and I think this is this is it. This is like my last roll that I have left, so I have to save her. So what we're going to do here is put a dot of glue, and let's just start our ribbon by laying it here, and this ribbon here has like, you can see, two black edges. I'm going to kind of use that one black edge as a guide as I go around and I'm going to put another dot of glue and make a pleat okay so dot of glue pleat my hot glue gun is not it, it's a high temp but it's not super super hot so I'm able to do this without burning my fingers off so if your hot glue gun, I know a lot of them can be just unbearable. If you have one of those, you might want to, if you're going to temp this, grab a little low temp just for things like this that you can put your hands in and touch without burning your fingers off. So I'm just going to continue to go around here like so. Okay, see how that's coming out on the other side. So it's just a dot of glue and a little pleat, a little fold over. Do you guys have a, um, a Halloween tree that you set up that you put ornaments on? If you do, I'd like to hear about it. Tell me about it in the comments. I've got, um, I've got one of those seven foot uh, pencil trees. I, I found it at Michael's a couple years ago and I put it in the corner of my dining room on October the 1st, and it is covered with gorgeous vintage Halloween ornaments I've made, um, ornaments that I've bought from other people on Etsy, uh, things that were gifts, and it's super, super cute. And what I'll do then right after Halloween is I have a lot of decorations for Thanksgiving as well. And I make it my thankful, grateful tree in the dining room. It's just so pretty. And uh, and then easily switch it right over to Christmas. So that tree gets a lot of mileage. Getting my money's worth out of that one. Three months. All right, we're almost to the edge here. But I do love Halloween ornaments. I love everything Halloween. Okay. Pinch there. I think we need one more pleat to finish this off. Ah, that's pretty. Okay. Then we'll just do a snip right there. Okay. And there's what we end up with. There. All right. Hold on to that for a sec. The next circle, since we have a black inking theme 
going on. We're going to ink up this circle. Okay. And rubber stamp wise, I've got big number one here. Put that right there. And oops, don't close that yet. And then out of my interlocking stamps, I just put together an ST for my first. Pop that right there. Okay. Now this one is going to lay on top of this one. This is easy. I'm just grabbing a little hot glue and just laying it right on top. Okay. Now, let me find, oh, here it is, got some trim, isn't this trim cute? And it's like a little tiny ruffle with some velvet. I'm going to cut a couple pieces here. I usually use just regular ribbon, but I had this and I thought it was super pretty. So this is going to be the tails of our ribbon and just kind of attach these two together like so and another bit of glue there and place my prize ribbon right on top see how sweet that turned out and then you can cut these if you want if you want something a little longer shorter you can kind of make your adjustments at that point and now flip it here's our third Piece, our third circle and I put this on the back and it just covers up the mess since a little bit of that shows so your ribbon is complete that darling so you know even if you're doing other things with this you can put a little pin on that you can attach this to things it's so cute okay so look at this it's not gonna be darling I, I do like the orange so let's just plop on some glue right there Put that right there. Okay. Super, super cute, right? Okay, so I was thinking, I was wondering how this ribbon would look. Since we've got the orange. If I made a bow out of this for the top, let's just see. Even though I'm kind of savoring this ribbon, I don't want it to, I don't want to use it all up. Get all the good stuff and you don't want to use it. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. And oh yes, that is gorgeous right there. So I'm gonna pop that right there at the top. I think I might have to get out a little bit of glitter. I don't know, maybe. Pump on with all squishy. So cute. All right, let me let me grab some glitter. Okay, glitter time. I'm just gonna start with some Mod Podge. And I was looking at this to see where I wanted to go, and I think I'm just gonna hit this frame around the picture here. Okay, let's hit that first. I'm just going to be using a little bit of clear glitter. Okay, that's just a bit. Okay, oh, that looks really pretty. And then I was thinking maybe a little bit around the first place. It's just sparkly. That looks super sweet. On this one here, I actually used the very, very fine black glitter and I was putting it around their uh, the dresses, the top of their dresses. And look, I love glitter, I really do. 
but that really fine glitter can just be a menace. It, it sticks to your glue, but it still like, sticks to everything else. So you have to get a dry paintbrush and try to clean it all up. So that's why I decided on this one. I was just going to go with the sparkly clear glitter. Okay. Aren't they cute? So I'm going to pop both of these in my Etsy shop. And uh, the link to my shop is in the description box below. And thank you guys for hanging out with me today. You are the best. And if you are watching my videos and you love crafting, please hit that subscribe button because then I know you're going to be joining me for my next creative project. So until then, take care, my friends. Bye for now.